Hey everybody, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we have some guest pilots today. Uh, Ethan joined us and he's been flying with uh, Dad, uh, uh, Shane, and we've been flying the Valiant and the Cub. And we're just out having a good time. We're also gonna do a maiden on this Skywing Edge 540. Just a real quick build recap on this plane. I'm using the Dual Sky 5050 up front. That's a 515 KV and I got that with the plane from Northwest RC. As far as the prop goes, I've got a 167 Falcon. I'm using the spinner that came with the kit. For the servos, I've got the Emax 9252s. They're a real good combination for a 60 inch plane. And I've also got the 1.25 inch servo extensions from Northwest RC. For the ESC, I'm running a Hobby Wing 80 amp and I use those again in most of my 60 inch builds. So I've got some degree of familiarity with those and I like them quite a bit. Regarding the build, everything on this plane, I mean, you guys are gonna be wondering why you pay me as a reviewer, but everything just worked. Uh, there, was, there was no fixing to be done on this plane. The dual sky bolted right up, the prop bolted right up, the spinner bolted right up, the servo slid right into their slots. There's literally nothing for me to modify on this plane at all. The only adjustment I had to make was on the saddle for the horizontal stabilizer. That's it. I had to sand one side and hold it in place while I glued it up to make sure I was parallel with the wings. That's it for the build recap. I mean, again, you guys are going to wonder what you're paying me for, but I don't have anything to tell you. It just went together just fine. I'll be running a 6L4000 for power. For the receiver, I have a Maytech R24D running ELRS 3.0, and that's connected to a Hobby Eagle A3 Super 4. All right, let's fly it. One last control systems check. I expect the elevator to come up, and it does. I expect the right aileron to come up, and it does. The left aileron should come up, and it does. The rudder should come right and it does, it should go left, and it does, okay? And a little touch of power, go in the right direction. All right, that's it, time to fly. All right, wind's coming from my right, so I'm gonna take off left to right, and here we go. First flight of the Skywing Edge 61 inch airplane. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> one click of elevator, that's it. No aileron, one click of elevator, and we're in business. Before I keep flying, I just want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Freddie. Freddie's not feeling well. He's down for the count a little bit. Hope you get better soon, my friend. Take care of yourself. All right, let's get on with the testing. So the first thing I do is the upline test. Upline and see how that one's coming down a little bit? That's slightly nose heavy. Now, the last plane I flew, it maintained a complete neutral on that maneuver. So I go into a 45 degree upline at about 75% power and what we're looking for there is for the nose to either go up or down. And if it comes down slightly, in most cases, that's considered ideal. So there's a slight nose down, so that's considered ideal. If it maintains its nose position or goes up, you're neutral to tail heavy. So I would say that's acceptable performance. On the slick, if you remember the slick, I just did that one and it maintained a complete neutral balance on that upline. All right, the next thing we'll do is the yaw test. So in the yaw test, what I like to do is go straight up, straight up in air, off power, and we watch for the nose to drop left or right. That definitely dropped to the right. So I'm gonna give that a couple of clicks of left, and then we do it again. And what we're looking for there is we're trying to take power and P factor and torque and precession and slipstream out of the equation, and we're looking just to see what the airfoil does. So off power, and again to the right, so a couple more clicks to the left. And we'll do it again. Here we go, straight up. 
power's off. And that time I went to the left. So I'm real close. Two more, two clicks back to the other side. And uh, just in case you pay attention to things like wind direction and how I'm flying the plane, since I took off, the wind has gone to calm. So I have my choice on which way I conduct these maneuvers. I'm trying to do it so the camera gets the best shot. And there we go, that's straight down. So now we have the yaw trimmed correctly. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is a loop. And the reason we do a loop is because we wanna make sure that our empennage is square with the wings. If they're not, you'll find your airplane will corkscrew out of the loop. So here we go, just a nice little loop, keeping the wings steady. And I'd say that looked pretty darn good. I'm gonna do one more. So I did have to make a wing adjustment, so I just want to check that real quick. You might have to do one more. You went above my camera. All right, I'm going to do one more. So here we go. Power on, straight through the loop. Yeah, that's fine. No issues, no corkscrew. It tracks straight, and that's really what I'm looking for. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is a stall, and the reason we do a stall is we're looking for longitudinal balance. If you do a stall and one wing drops below the other one during the stall, that tells you you've got a longitudinal balance problem. So it powers off, and yeah, it's straight. A little touch to the left, just a touch. All right, everything seems to be checking out, so I'm gonna do a couple of knife edge passes just to get a feel. I was just going to say, if Freddy was here, he'd say, do a knife edge. Yeah, it's fine. There's no steering on that one. That was wind or something, but no issues. All right, I'm going to set up for a Harrier. We'll see how it does in a Harrier and see if the wings are nice and stable or not. So up we go, wings come over, full elevator, and we come down like an elevator ride. See how flat that is? And we start adding a little bit of power and try and keep it at a nice 45. Very stable. It's nice when you got the trees in the background, you can really see the angle of the plane. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty low. There's the hover for Fred. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's the maiden. I'm gonna bring it around now and try and land. I'm just gonna do a couple passes and I like to do this because I wanna make sure that I can get the plane on the ground. So before I run out of battery, it just gives me an idea of what the plane feels like trying to land. That's called a high rate landing. Not supposed to do that. So we'll take off and I will come out of high rates and I should be able to get it on the ground without all that fluttering about. There's the timer anyway, so this looks like good timing. Shows how comfortable you are. We're ready. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. It lands. It's light on its feet for landing. No issues there. I don't know how those guys do that. They come to a dead stop. If I were any lower, that would have been a pile of toothpicks. Yeah, I need to work on that. I need to practice in the simulator is what I need to do. Well, there we go. 61 inch Skywing Edge 540. I don't know what else you can ask for. I mean, the plane, the plane looks fantastic. Went together exceptionally well, flies straight. I saw no adverse issues in flight at all. So I'm very happy with this plane. So like I've said before on Skywing, I spent a lot of time with Extreme Flight and they've been, they've been earning their keep with me because I've got some stick time with them. 
And well, one thing I'd like to say about the Skywing is that initial impressions are very strong, but I have to do some stick time with them. You know, I have to get out and fly them some and make sure that I feel comfortable over, over time with how well they stay together. But I can tell you right now that that plane flew really well. And the colors outside and the bright sunlight, they look really good. It's a very different look than what you see on the website. The yellow is just very, very bright. It's a very bright yellow. It doesn't look like that golden rod that you see in the online photos. All right, that wraps up my video on the Skywing Edge 540 61-inch airplane. I'm really happy with the outcome. I want to remind you, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Get out there and fly something. There you go. Nice job. All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.